On July 19th and 20th of 1848 in Seneca Falls, New York, a group of 300 men and women attended the Seneca Falls Convention. The meeting was organized by a group of local Quaker women and an area resident, Elizabeth Cady Stanton. The occasion was a visit from the well-known Quaker preacher and orator from Philadelphia, Lucretia Mott. Quaker tradition had long advocated gender equality, which was the topic of the convention. Mott was among the most vocal and well-known women's rights activists of her time, though the term activist wouldn't be coined for another 50 years. Convening solely to advocate women's rights was a radical idea. Those who came to Seneca Falls were inspired both by movements to abolish slavery and give property rights to women. Codified in a document called the Declaration of Sentiments, based in a symbolic gesture upon the Declaration of Independence, it asserted that all men and women are created equal and called for equality for women in family, jobs, religion, education, and morals. Though the Seneca Falls Convention is seen as one of the first milestones in the fight for women's suffrage, the right to vote was seen as a contentious topic among those attending. Lucretia Mott thought it was a step too far, claiming it would make the convention and the declaration seem ridiculous to make such a lofty demand. Encouraged by the lone person of color known to attend the convention, Frederick Douglass, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who had drafted much of the Declaration, insisted that the right to vote be included, and it was adopted by a large majority. Numerous other similar meetings across the country followed after, but the Seneca Falls Convention was the beginning of the movement that resulted in the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution in 1920, confirming gender equality in the right to vote.